Thank you very much for joining us. All right, I'm really excited about this conversation. I'm always passionate about knowing about hair and celebrity hairstylists and trichologists. Dr. <laughs> Keith Harley is here. Good morning. Good Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is morning. so good to talk to you as always. Oh, thank you. Thank and you. It's always a pleasure. It is. And mm -hmm. you reached out to me because the story came out about um, from the American Cancer Society. Yes, ma'am. And they were talking about the chemicals that we put in our hair for perms and maybe color and things could be contributed to cancer. Yeah, absolutely. Break it down, brother. Okay, so what the, the Cancer Society did a study is called the Sister Study. And um, they had found in the studies. Now, let me explain to you what the sister study is. I like that. The right. Study, that means it's for us. So for women of color, I should say. Right. Yes. Well, and it's, it's about women who have had their, uh, their siblings have had cancer. And they are studying of their relate, uh, people that uh, they're related to that could possibly have that same trait in their gene. Oh. And um, they tried, they tested with chemicals permanent color dyes, those sorts of things. And they found that there was um, a little bit of a hint that it's a possibility that chemicals and permanent color could cause breast cancer. Wow, chemicals and permanent color. Yeah, yeah. And you know, most people prefer permanent color right. because again, it's That's permanent right. color. That's right. That's right. So what would, what what should we do in situations like that? Well, to hear in, that kind of news. In situations, as I'm telling people that come to our hair and scalp clinic or come to me for services, is number one, when you go to a stylist or you go to a specialist or you go to a trichologist or whatever the case may be, it is important that you do a consultation with that individual. That's number one. Number two, you look in that consultation as they fill out those consultation forms and they ask questions. You ask, the, do you have that type of history in your family? Because that's what the study shows. No, that the history would be the cancer? The breast cancer. Breast cancer. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. okay. And um, if that's the case, then there are proper procedures that you take to make sure that you protect the client in any given chemical process doing their hair or whatever the case may be. Isn't that something I never in a million years would think going to get my hair done that mm -hmm. those kind of questions have to come up. We just never think about absolutely, that. Absolutely. And you got to think about it. We are connected to your scalp and your hair, which is a part of you. Mm -hmm. So when you put things on your scalp and your hair, it can seep down into the hair follicle, which then goes into your body internally. And that's what we also forget. Mm -hmm. Things go down to our body eternally, and then we're like, oh, my God, what's really going on here? Absolutely. So now, in case somebody just joined us, we are talking to Dr. Keith Harley. He is a celebrity hairstylist and trichologist. I want to know, what is a trichologist? A trichologist is the study of hair and scalp. I'm not a medical doctor. I am a person that got my cosmetology license and then went back to school to study trichology, which is the study of hair and scalp disorders. And um, so many of us have them. Right, right, right. Exactly. So a lot of people think it's a medical doctor, but my Ph.D. is not actually in trichology. My Ph.D. is in the study of cosmetology. OK. And that's where that comes from. And but it's almost like it evolved to that. Absolutely. Though, right? Absolutely. Because especially those with the issues studies. come up a lot. Yes, ma'am. So as women, I mean, we've done everything uh, with our hair. Absolutely. So everything contributes to that. Right. Yes, ma'am. Almost. Yes, ma'am. Weaves. Weaves, uh, Braids, hair, hair perms. extensions, perms, colors, chemicals, wigs, all sorts of Even things. Even wigs? Oh, oh Lord. yeah. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what's so interesting? A lot of people don't understand. A lot of this can be avoided by application and going to a professional. And what happens is that there are a lot of beauty supply stores that are going into our communities and we're finding it that it's easy to go to those beauty supply stores to do our own hair. And I always tell people all the time, and I want people to remember that you cannot get your cosmetology license through YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do it. I know when we were children, we used to do these things in our kitchen and at home. Well, and you might be like, able to make a cake right. through YouTube, but not get your cosmetology license. No, no, you Just can't. Just like you can't, you know, I can't teach you to be a DJ. Mm -mm. I can teach you fundamentals, Right. that's it. Exactly, okay. exactly. And so what's happening is, is that these huge masses of amount of beauty supply stores are going into our communities and we as a community are going in and supporting them 
they think that they know this business, so they will tell you what you could get, tell you what you could use, and we will believe them, we will buy it, and then we'll go home and try it. And then what I'm seeing, which I call an epidemic, is we're seeing hair loss, we're seeing problems with chemicals, we're seeing problems with application, and we're seeing people losing their hair faster than they either have to or shouldn't have. And this is like all doing. ages and, and everything? Oh, or? yeah, from children on up to uh, 60, 70 older, men and women. Mm. Mm-hmm. So what... Obviously, we need to not go to YouTube, first of all. We Absolutely. already established that. Yes, ma'am. And we need to come and see a specialist. Absolutely. You need to go to a licensed cosmetologist, a trichologist, or a dermatologist. Now, I saw, uh, I, I was looking on, on YouTube. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> I, but I saw an interview you did with a dermatologist. Uh, a Dr. Couple, Valerie Callum. Yes, a mm-hmm. couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Sure did. And I thought, okay dermatology and cosmetology mm-hmm. how does that you know that bridge well the, the difference between a dermatologist a cosmetologist and a trichologist is a dermatologist is a md is a medical doctor okay and the reason why dr uh, valerie calendar and i and some other dermatologists that work i work with uh like here in dallas uh dr Cal- uh, dr carter uh, those sorts of dermatologists is because we're trying to bridge the gap. So many people uh, think that, you know, you can go to a dermatologist and you can be diagnosed, but the dermatologist has to give you, tell, first diagnose you, find out what your issues are, and then they have to send you somewhere to where you can get the proper services with the right chemicals, if you can get chemicals. So even if. for your hair, yeah. you can go see a dermatologist. Absolutely. And say, because, you know, I'm always thinking, you know, it's your skin. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm that too, obviously. Right, right. But well, remember, your skin is connected to your scalp. I know, but I need and to it's, look at it. Like that. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Okay, Dr. Harley. So that that is a very valid point. Yes, ma'am. Okay, mm-hmm. and so th- that's why you actually connected with dermatologists. Oh yeah, absolutely. I had to because there are things that we can't do that a dermatologist, an MD dermatologist, knows what to do, and there's so many myths that are out there. You know, like, for instance, they, you know, people were saying that chemicals were bad for you. Well, yeah, they are in certain situations. But nine times out of ten, it's either the application or it's they're not doing the proper consultation to determine what type of chemical that person or if they cannot get a chemical. Um, and that's where the issues fall. And so if you go to YouTube and you see the interview that I did with uh, Dr. Callender, she talks about that. Not every chemical is for every head, not service, not every service is for every head, but you got to determine what client, what product, what service so it's is not a one size have. fits all situation no, it when isn't. it comes to our hair but we've been told that and i think now people are a lot better mm-hmm. we're a lot better about saying okay this is specifically for me not necessarily Absolutely. a one size fits all right. situation mm-hmm. okay so mm-hmm. that that i guess that helps right and again, i could give you an example like i have uh, patients that come to me that uh take high blood pressure medication and it is a known fact, it is a study that that dries the hair out or breaks the hair or there could, that could be a side effect of the high blood pressure medication. What I have to make sure is uh, when I see the client, whether they can get some type of chemical or is the chemical going to make the situation worse? So what um, do you do in a situation like that? Because that would be me. And so it's like, what would you do in a situation like that uh, when you're, you know, you're working with someone and mm-hmm. say, okay, I take high blood pressure medication, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, because I know my natural hair has the, the breakage yes, right ma'am. up, and In the it's just gone. Area. Yep. Mm-hmm. And my, yeah, it's fine anyway. Right, and so if I were to look at you, we have what you call a scope, where we look at your scalp and your hair under the scope. You can see it on the screen, and I can determine, okay, your hair is very coarse due to your medication. or It's or fine, it's fine. Right, or it's fine, or your body is changing. No, we cannot do any chemicals. We would say, no, that can't be done. Okay, okay. So we could do protective styles. We can do uh, some type of uh, uh, extensions or whatever the case may be. If there's a certain look that you look 
you're you're looking for, mm -hmm. but we have to make sure that that service will not enhance the issue that you're already suffering from. Okay. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So it, it, the perfect now the, here's the thing to the professionals out there, the cosmetologists or people that are students that are in hair school or whatever the case may be. You know, we love to make money, but at the same time, sometimes you got to learn the word no. It's a full sentence. Mm -hmm. You can't get this. I want your $100, yes, but if you are consulting with the client and you know they can't get it, say no because you're going to, uh, the client is going to feel that they can trust you and they're going to constantly come to you. But if you're just trying to take their money and then their issue becomes worse, well, you know, you've it's lost interesting the because even in my experience, I may come in and say, okay, you know, I want this. And then when you walk out of there, they told you something entirely different that you didn't want or whatever. And over the years, um, you know, I, I said yes, but now I say no. Well, mm -hmm. no, that's not what I want. Or I just don't come back. Right. Absolutely. And so that's, that's what yeah. happens. That's what happens. And remember, there used to be a time when there were salons. It was like one every three blocks. Yes. Now it's three every one block. But now, are, they, are people making money, though? Because I've talked to some uh, stylists over the year, you know, just over the last mm -hmm. year, and they're saying they've got to come up with creative ways because it's not the same, it you isn't. know, when people would come in and, and, and get their right. hair done. The, the, what has happened is, and I'm going to go out on a limb and say this, is that other people from other communities have come into ours. That's very diplomatic. I like and it. Have, <laughs> and have created an avenue for people thinking that they're saving money to go in, buy product, and use it at home and not be educated. And what has happened is it has taken away from our industry. And now they trust a beauty supply owner and a beauty supply worker than they trust the cosmetologist who was licensed and went to school. Isn't that something? We are having a great conversation. Every time you come, it's always very <laughs> educational. Dr. Keith Harley, he is also a motivational speaker, oh. celebrity hairstylist, and trichologist. And I finally learned how to say that word eloquently <laughs> after talking to you. <laughs> so it is like a movement going on here. So yes. we got to get back to taking care of ourselves and, and going to the people that we that we know and trust. Absolutely. That we can gotta, get this I, done. I call it going back to the basics. Going back to the basics. Going back to the basics, doing great customer service, educating yourself on the service, uh, uh, sort of creating relationships. Well, not sort of, creating relationships with manufacturers and product development companies so you understand what is in the product. You understand what the product does, and you understand what that product can do for each individual that comes into your establishment. And this it, that's true because a lot of times I hear it get dried out, number mm -hmm. one, and then you're like, okay, what do I do about that? Right. You know, um, or, and then there's so many products that may not do anything. Right, absolutely. And if you understand the different textures and the different issues and the different problems that may cause these issues, then you'll know what right products that you can use. You got, I mean, I, there's a, 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 an um, array of things. People come to me that are, are hormonal. Women that just had their babies. Yeah, People have yeah, had, huh? exactly, mm -hmm. surgery. Men come to me, low testosterone. Mm -hmm. Smokers. Yeah. Oh, that affects it too. That affects it too. Stress. I have people that have come to me that have had alopecia temporary because of stress. Mm. So it's a variety, it's a lot. When we go to school, we learn the anatomy. We learn what things that cause, may cause these certain situations. And that is very, very profound. I have like a bunch of other questions come on. Um, that we're going to talk about <laughs> when we come back with Dr. Keith Harley. All right. Part one of a two-part jam. All hey. right. Hey, Facebook. Hey, guys. guys. <laughs> How are you? Hope you. Hopefully, you all are enjoying this interview with this incredible young lady. I just love Lynn Hayes. I, I love him back. Oh. I, I mean, we just had such a good time here. <laughs> yes, and we do. And now he's going to be here again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are excited. Oh, we my goodness. Excited. We're excited. Okay, yeah. my producer is like, when are you ready? Okay. <laughs> Kevin, uh, my producer is over there. Kevin okay. Collins, who always takes care of business. I'm telling Facebook Live uh, that it takes care of business. So... Are you ready? We ready. All we right. ready. Like one minute. Okay. One minute? Okay. One minute. So, guys, if you all can hear us okay, just give us some hearts or a wave or anything. Yeah. Oh, Raina said great information. Hey, Raina. Hey, how Raina. are you? Hi, girl. 
Um, it, please share with your friends. If you're looking at the replay, share with your friends. Thank you for tuning in. This is going. Oh, so they said they do. Oh, see that's okay. so cool. That's great, so great. Cool. And also, this interview is going to air on Smooth R&B one hundred five point seven. It'll air this Saturday morning at five thirty. I know that's early, mm -hmm. but on Sunday morning, six a.m. on K one hundred four. Oh, perfect, so, hey, perfect, perfect. So hopefully, you can. You know, you're getting ready for church anyway. Right, so right, not? right. And you can go listen to it on their website. Exactly. <laughs> R&B. Dot com. Dot okay. com. <laughs> that was my Oprah voice. Okay, ready? <laughs> ready? Thank you very much for joining us. Having a great conversation always with Dr. Keith Harley. Now, Keith is a celebrity hairstylist and trichologist. He's also a motivational speaker, but his specialty is hair and scalp disorders. Yes, so we are breaking it down. Yes. And what gets me, uh, doctor, is that we don't realize that the chemicals and the things that we put in our hair, so much stuff that goes into how we need to really be okay. Mm -hmm. The one thing, like you said, how other people have come into our communities and then we go, mm -hmm. because we're thinking, well, we want to save money because everybody wants to save money. Absolutely. I mean, it's tight, you know, for, for everybody. But it's sort of like if you pay a little more in the short run, you might be better in the long run. It doesn't or necessarily not. Rather mean whether you're paying a, a large amount or a less amount, but you want to be mindful of where it comes from. Another prime example, which you probably didn't know this, a lot of these other communities and out of the country, they will come here, they will find out what products that we're using, they will get them, take them back to their country, redo them over Ooh. and mimic what we have here nice. and try to charge less and we don't know actually what's in it or what they're using. Mm. They'll package it. The packaging will look pretty. See, a, a lot of our life right now is based on branding. It is branding. And, you know, and for us, like, I know women, it's how it smells. Right. It's got to smell good. That's if it doesn't right. smell good, you're like, oh, no, I don't want that. And that might me, be the better one right. for you. And now, now, let me say that about fragrance. Okay. Fragrance is alcohol. Mm. Alcohol is what? Drying. It's drying, yeah. So it's not always the scent. And if you see in the back of the, the, the bottle, mm -hmm. the first ingredient is fragrance, then you know that has a large amount of in it. In That's going to dry it out. That's going to dry it out. So even with your shampoos and things? Oh, absolutely. And conditioners? Absolutely. If you got high fragrance, which means there's a high level of alcohol content, which means there's a possibility that could it could... Uh, make your situation worse Ooh. or it could create an issue for you. Ooh, so I, you got to be mindful what, of that. Well, I, I haven't been mindful over the years. A lot of us have not. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, you know, it just happens, right, you know, as, right. as mindful. Mm -hmm. I mean, as you start to see things happen, you try to be a mm -hmm. little bit more mm -hmm. educated. Mm -hmm. And this is just a great conversation. So now how can people get in touch with you? Because I know you're getting ready to open up a new yes. shop in Dallas. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, got one in so Dallas. So tell us all about that. And, um, so, and so people going to have more questions. I know they will. So, so they hit you on social media? Yes, okay. they can hit us on social media at uh, Keith Harley on Facebook. Facebook, Instagram. Um, if people have questions and want to do an online uh, on phone on the phone consultation, it's one eight four four Hair Doctor One. That's one eight four four H A I R D R One. And we work between D.C. and Dallas, and sometimes New York. Um, and we're just sort of taking this thing on the road because we see an epidemic that we know that we can not only just help the consumer but we can also train and help the professional. And so that's, and that's what our focus is. that's the key, too, is. because the professionals need the knowledge as well. Not saying that they oh, don't, yeah. but it's, it's, you know, you can always learn. Right, absolutely. And see, everybody thinks that it's about styling. Well, that's secondary. Yeah. The, the, you got to have the, something to style. <laughs> exactly. So I'm trying to teach them, okay, we the class is back to the basics. Let's focus on what is going on with the person individually. Then let's focus on what it is that has been going on, what can they use and what they can't use, and then focus on the style. Uh, some people will come to you and they'll sit up there and say, okay, I have a relaxer, but now I want a color. Well, the stylist didn't ask the person, did you have a relaxer two weeks ago mm. or a week ago or three days ago, and now you want a permanent color, but they didn't ask. So what happens? It messes your hair up, right? It falls out. Absolutely, mm -hmm. because it's like overcooking fried I remember chicken. Like years ago, that happened to me, and I um got a, a perm mm -hmm. and then turned right around and got a color, 
and it, it went like, right down the drain. Baby, back here. <laughs> and, you know, it was like, I was, oh my God. So, yes. And then it, it happened again. Yes. And yes. It's, it's a, you know, it's scary. Oh, you know? yeah. You don't know what the situation is. You know that the core of it comes from somewhere. Absolutely. And it's chemicals. So, if they don't know this thing, it's a problem. And that's what we're seeing in the industry right mm. now. And so that's why they're not making a lot of money. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. And see, that's what has the word has to get out. Talking to a celebrity hairstylist and trichologist, Dr. Keith Harley, and we are talking about hair and scalp disorders, weaves, braids, you name it. <laughs> we're going we're going to get to it. Yes, ma'am. What are some of the biggest issues that you see? Is it basically just, you know, when people come in, is it because their hair fell out or mm-hmm. that's pretty much it? Um, a lot the one of the top issues you would not believe is vitamin D deficiency. Ooh. And I just ran out of vitamin D. I'm going to get some today. I did. And I thought about it this morning. Yep. I'm like, ooh. Yep. So vitamin D you deficiency. It's for your bones, but it's for your hair too? It's for all of your, your body, period. Supplements are good, or you can get them through the food source. Mm-hmm. Um, we get a lot of men who come in with low testosterone, uh, with issues uh, with balding and alopecia or male pattern baldness. Sometimes they can make the issue come quicker than it has to. Okay. Um, just based on what they're doing with them, with their body and exercising, uh, a, a lot of people that come into to me are anemic, dehydrated. Yeah, that's Let a me big just, issue. Oh, that's a big that issue. That is a I, I, yeah, huge I'm issue. I'm dehydrated for just a second. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. It, when they don't drink enough water, what happens is that the follicles close up because they're dehydrated. So it cl- cuts off. The circulation. blood circulation. Okay, okay. And people that are anemic, that's why you see thinness in the back. What the, Where does the blood come? Okay, right, yeah. From, and then it from, rises, right? Yeah, so if it's not getting where it needs to be, that's, what, that's an indication of being anemic. And one of the side effects is losing your hair, hair breakage. So drink that water. Skin. Drink that water. I'm okay. telling you, it makes a I, difference. I just, uh, I do. And, and now what about... Um, Alkaline, does it matter or just drink water? Just drink water. Okay. Just drink water. Because, you know, I have a, I just went to a Dr. Dada who's mm-hmm. over in Frisco, and, you know, she has like the IV words. Right. Yes, 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 okay. yes, yes. And yes. that was my first time experience. And that. how did you feel when you walked out? I felt good. Yeah, I you felt, felt energy. You felt almost like cold on yeah, the inside. Yeah, I felt this energy. Yeah, and I'm just yeah, like, yeah. wow, yeah. this is good stuff, yeah. you know? Now, just think. Now, it's a shame that these doctors have to create these organizations to give you all IVs of, for deficiencies that you won't eat right to get. That's true. That's true. Because if, if, if people follow me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever the case may be, I'm always talking about eating your vegetables, uh, you know, cooking more instead of eating out. A lot of the food that we eat outside has a lot of sodium in it. Mm-hmm. Because it's well, quick it's eating. Mindful. Yeah, it is quick eating, and and yeah, it's good every now and then. But yeah. then if you're not drinking water too, on top of it, so right. that's true. I brought like two big bottle, extra bottles today because I'm like, okay, I can right. feel it. But and yeah. try to do it room temperature. When I get up in the I morning, do too. I'm warm temperature. I don't like your, it cold. I'm, I don't either. It I'm so glad yeah, I don't. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Because you know when you, you a lot of people do. I have friends that are like, look, I don't care what you say, my water got to be cold. Right. It's you know? <laughs> but that's but, the way it makes it. And if it doesn't taste good. You know, tell, put some lemon in it or lime or whatever the case may be. But in the morning, I have a big old thing of water beside my bed. I make sure I drink that before I even drink coffee. Mm, okay. Because a lot of people, again, will go to that coffee, which is a diuretic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which and I, you know what? You I out. did, and I, I was on vacation, and I drank more on vacation because my best friend drinks it, drinks it all the time. Mm-hmm, and so mm-hmm. and so I was like, oh, okay, you know, we go to the cafes and mm-hmm, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But it does. I can tell it now that difference. I'm back home that oh, um, yeah. it's kind of dried up some things. So oh, we got to yeah. keep drinking And the I water. got a secret. You drink that water for 30 days straight at least eight to ten glasses of water that you will lose ten pounds. Oh, that's all you had to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you the truth. If you just continuously drink water, drink water, you will lose weight. The bags under your eyes will go away. Your skin will look brighter. When you start to see bags under your eyes in darkness, that is another sign. That you need to drink more water. 
I am, you know, I love water, so I'm really glad I do because you know sometimes there are things good for you and just don't like them. Right. Right. So, um, right. Uh, and I was talking to another chef, Cassandra, who, who's here, mm -hmm. and she, you know, talks a lot about that drinking the water and also things like beets and mm -hmm. talking about vegetables. Absolutely. So what's the deal with beets, Doctor Hart? <laughs> well, beets give like you extra things. vitamins that you need that you would have would go to get the IV. Oh, okay. ah. Ah. so if I tell people all the time, Google some of the nutrients that are in some of the vegetables and the fruits. Here's another thing. I just put this on social media this morning on Instagram stories. Did you know that when you get on a plane that the humidity, it dehydrates you, doesn't it? It dehydrates you. It's 26 percent mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the desert. Wow. It's 21 percent on a plane. Wow. So. When they give you those pretzels and peanuts, dry, dry, dry. It's dry, dry, dry. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you get soda and a drink. Well, I was on a certain airlines that charge you for everything, so right. I don't need anything. <laughs> if you know what I'm talking right. about, but yeah, that's true. But what I do now is I pack my stuff before I go. Yeah, I do too. And you get a bottle, uh, uh, one of those. Um, you bottles, can just take a, a, a empty bottle and, and go I just through security it out and, and put it, it up and fill it up. I did not know that. I Isn't didn't find crazy? it out until this year. If Isn't I don't crazy? know if anybody's traveling over yep. the holidays, if you take a empty plastic bottle That's right. and put it in your purse or your bag, whatever, That's right. they will let you through. They you just sure can't will. have any water and then you can fill up the water you when you get up. to the airport. And you can for buy free. Yep. And you can buy and they have a nice filter system in the airport. You can buy uh there there are a couple of things that I always tell people when you're traveling now. Go in, get your water. A great moisturizer, mm -hmm. a great moisturizing mist spray, a great lip balm, and that's it. That's it. Okay. You will stay moisturized. You'll find out you look better than you did when you got on the plane. So a great more. Okay, see, Dr. Keith, you got a lot of information here. <laughs> I am loving this. <laughs> we are finding, of course, talking about hair and scalp disorders, but also just good health. Right. Now, what are all the green vegetables, obviously. Yes. We need to eat more of those. Absolutely. I'm, I'm really working on Absolutely. doing better with that right, right now at this stage right. of the soul. Mm -hmm. um, and then also talk to a specialist. Right. Okay, because we are on medications and different mm -hmm. things like that, so they also have an impact on our hair. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, all of this has an impact on your hair. Yeah, sure. It's just like diets. Uh, I had women that came to me that were on low-carb diets, and they were losing their hair. They were drying out. And um, when I found out in their consultation form, I said, look, let me explain something to you. If you can get up and determine that you need to go on a diet and you can plan it out, then you can get up and you can get moving. What I did to lose my weight was I started getting up and walking. I got this Apple Watch mm -hmm. and I started getting 20,000 steps in a day. You get 20,000? I, I was fighting and arguing things. about 10. Let me tell you. It makes a huge difference. Where you don't do you have walk to run at, everywhere. <laughs> the mall. The I, mall. You know. I'll walk. Uh, I'll go on a, a trail. I'll go uh, when I'm in Dallas. I'll go on the Katy Trail. When I'm in D.C., I'll go to Haynes Point or I'll go to uh, Just wherever MGM. You are, you wherever I am, so I, I got to walk. You know, it's funny because I came to the realization because, you know, I've always done like elliptical and all this mm -hmm. stuff. But I came to the realization because when I was in Florida, we walked a lot. Mm -hmm. And so because my friend lives in the area where, you know, you walk everywhere. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, you know, I got to just walk. That's and it. And I'm thinking, well, Dallas, you know, everything's so spread out. Right. But you can go to like a Katy Trail. Oh, you yeah. Can go to, um, where's the, uh, is it another place I go to over in Plano, but um, that, that, you know, will lose my mind. Mm -hmm. right now, but, <laughs> You can even go to one of the fields, the football fields or something of that nature. That's true. Or go to the mall. You that, could walk yeah. around North Park and you could get you a good 10 miles in. Yeah, you could. That's true. And you won't be bored. You sure won't. You can stop and like, look at stuff, sip on a little something, exactly. you know, water. And, you know, exactly. Or something along those lines. Well, I mean, what else do we need to know about hair and scalp disorders that we may not know? I think uh, one of the most important things is that your hair, scalp, skin, and nails is an indication that there is something going on internally. Okay. When you start to have issues with those areas, that means it's time for a checkup. That means it's something because your body lets you know yeah, that's true. when there's something that is going that's on true. internally. That's true. Um, secondly, listen to the professional. Interview the professional like you're interviewing your doctor or anybody that has anything to to do with your body okay so you make sure that they really know what they're doing and they're not 
you know, damaging already what's about to happen, yeah. what's happening, yeah. or trying to fix yeah. the issue. So those are the m- most top things that I, you know, tell stay people on, to focus on. Uh, just really just, and it's just stay on top of it as best you can. And yes, definitely, ma'am. again, how can um, people contact you before we wrap up? Okay, they can go to my website at www.keithharley, that's K-E-I-T-H-H-A-R-L-E-Y.com. Or they can hit us up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Uh, they can call us at one eight four four Hair Doctor One. That's one eight four four H A I R D R One. Um, and they will pick up. We'll help them as much as we can. We're in D.C., Dallas, New York. We're going around the country training professionals. Professionals, reach out to us. Mm -hmm. If you need us, we're here to help you. We have classes that are coming up because we want to help you go back to the basics so that you can increase your income with Vision Vision 2020. Well, 2020 is in the building, and so is Dr. Keith. I thank you so much for your time. Always. I'm Lynn Hayes, and that's what's going on. All right. All right. We got it. (laughs) (laughs) It's always a pleasure. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Press replay. Share if you care. Hit Miss Lynn up. We got some great stuff coming in the future. Facebook, Instagram, all of the above. Absolutely. (laughs) Have a good day. Bye.